evening, everyone. It is I, you were born on a hookup. Ooh, golly. That was a tough one. Oh, that was a heavy one. Ooh. And welcome back to another very special video. That's right, we're back once more with another birthday video. This time, being the queen of Rosalia, Yukina. So, happy birthday to Yukina. And today, I have five reasons why Yukina should be your best girl. So let's hop right on into number five. five. Leadership. 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 Okay, so this one is a little bit lower on the list because of things we'll talk about in a bit, but Yukina is the fearsome lead, fearsome. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she would be, but she is the strong leader of Rosalia. She is the one who pushes them forward out of the group because she has the most, to be fair, she's the most professional out of all of them. Although Sayo's way up there, but you know what I mean. But Yukina is the one who basically kind of put Rosalia together. Now, on to why it's lower on the list. The original reason why she put Rosalia together was kind of for a selfish reason. But she came to terms with that. She eventually, in the new aspect storyline, she eventually just realized that this was not the way to go. And it was completely warmed up over time to where and everybody's input is important to her and everyone's goal is important to her. And they all have the same goal, which is really great to see. So yeah, Yukin is the great leader of Rosalia. And also, I can see it making total sense because she's also... The one of the strongest members of Rosé, <laughs> although they're all about equal, so I can't say much. But moving on into number, number four, four. Four, 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 personality. personality. Okay, so this one's a little bit lower on the list too, for reasons we'll talk about in a second. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little bit um, wishy-washy on Yukina. I like her now, but we'll talk in a second. But yeah, Yukina is one of the characters that has come around really great in the story, like. 100% turnaround from where I'm considering it because originally Yukina was very stiff, very rigid, and very, very just harsh. She didn't take, like, she wouldn't hold back anything. If you were doing something wrong, she was going to tell you. And I can't say anything because Sayo is the exact way, and I still love Sayo, but yeah, originally Yukina was very. I did not like Yukina at first, not gonna lie. I was very, this person seems very annoying because I understand what she was going for, but it's also like, you can't just force people to go for stuff. But she's eventually come around so much that it's, she is great now, she is great. She still got that moment where she was like, all right, we need to buckle down and start doing stuff, stop goofing off. But she'll still allow everyone to do what they, like do their thing just a little bit out of time, even if they're in practice or not, you know, just because she knows that's who they are. She understands who her bandmates are, and she understands who her friends are. And that's the best part, because originally they were just bandmates, which was just kind of like a business position looking at it for Yukina originally, but now they're friends, and that's great. But moving on into number, number three. three. Dedication. Dedication. Okay, so this one's higher up on the list than a few people, because... Yukina has been singing since she was a child. How professional it was, or how like how hard she was practicing as a kid, I'm not sure. But the fact that she was a well-known solo singer before she even started Rosalia was something to behold. Because that's something that none of the other characters, well, except for RAS, but we're not there yet. <laughs> that's something that none of the other characters had to that point. She's just like in a league of her own when it came to starting off in the series, because... She was, like, the main one that was, like, well-trained and knew what she wanted to do. Whereas, like, Sayo was kind of there, but Sayo kind of picked up the guitar pretty recently just to kind of just have something he didn't have. So, Yukin is one that's, like, been having an instrument that she's been going at hardcore for a long time. So, it's good to see that. And that and the fact she still puts herself through the paces every day. Like, you see, read the side stories, and... Half the time, every time you're looking at a side story involving Yukina talking to Marina, it's, oh, I'm going in for an hour of self-practice. It's like, dang! Like I, don't, like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if I could just sit there and just practice with myself and nobody else. That'd be, like, that'd be tricky, but it takes some, it takes some dedication to do that. So that's why it's up there. <laughs> 
But moving on into number two, two. Singing, singing voice. voice. Okay. So, we were just talking about it. This one was going to be at the top of the list. Well, not top of the list, but you guys know. This one was going to be up here. Because, like I said earlier, Yukina is the face of Rosalia. And for good reason. Because, good lord, her voice is amazing. It's probably my second favorite voice out of the whole game. Maybe, I don't know, I'll have to say, yeah, 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 I'll say second. Because, I, I, I just, I, our Rachel is awesome. I love Lair. But... Yukina's voice is so freaking powerful and so freaking dynamic. It's just great. She's the one that has the most control and the most just range. And it's just great. And it's for obvious reasons. Because like I said earlier, in the last one, she's been practicing since she was a kid. I don't know how hard she's been practicing, but she's had a solo career before anybody else came into the band. So, yeah, obviously she had to be good if that was a thing. <laughs> That, and that's what draw, drew... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up. That's what drew Akko and Rinko into the band in the first place. And Sayo, too. And Lisa was just a good friend, so... <laughs> but yeah. And just the fact that, like, literally, whenever I first started the game, I may not have liked Yukina or Sayo, but they were still my favorite band to listen to. So that's saying something. Because usually, if, like, I don't like a band, personally, I'm just like, meh, I don't really, really want to... Listen to him because originally I didn't like RAS. So I was just like, eh, they're just kind of like a bunch of uh, stand ins. Great. But no, now I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on the RAS train. But yeah, just how great Yukina's voice is. is amazing. That and the fact that it works so well for Rosalia's songs. Their songs are always intense and just in your face, or they're good, just somber songs. They make you feel good. Well, I don't know if I didn't somber makes you feel good, but you know what I mean. Moving on, on to our last one. Eh, 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 eh. Number, Number one. one. All right. All right. <laughs> so, so, sorry. But, so this one is kind of obvious if you know Nikita's character for any sort of amount of time. Because Nikita loves cats. No matter how much she denies it, she loves cats. And to much to her dismay, a lot of people have figured this out over the like over the length of the game. So yeah, <laughs> but I just love the fact that the most serious, the most intense person in the whole series has like the most like she's the <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? She has the most just the cutest reaction when it comes to cats. It's just it's a complete flip of the coin. It's just all right, I am. A solid wall of determination. A cat walks by. Oh, now I am a marshmallow. Come back here, cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just great to see. Anytime a cat shows up, it's literally just Yukina stops and has to pay attention and has to go pet the cat. You have to pet the cat. <laughs> and I love the one story in particular. It's whenever Mocha and Yukina are walking home after helping Orisa with her Valentine's chocolate. <laughs> it's just Yukina, oh... Yeah, I'm going to feed the cats. I have to get rid of this bag of cat food because I don't want to have it in my house. There'd be no point to that. And Mocha's like, hmm, I'm supposed to stick around then. What? Why? Why are you going to stick around? I'm like, I don't know. I want to see you feed the cats. And you can just see a completely different person come out. And it's great. But, I think that'll do it for this video. Well, <laughs> I don't know. It's just the fact that I love Yukina. She's great. Again, she was started off a little rough, but she's come around. Again, that's character development for you guys. <laughs> Just wait till Sayo's video comes around. I got a lot to say there. <laughs> I love Sayo, but uh, she started off rough too. But I think that shows that even characters that are kind of like, eh, at first can come around. And say, that's just how well the series is developing characters here. So it's a good thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I sure did. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite vocalists in the game and one of my favorite characters because Yukin is pretty high up there because well, she's great. That and, that and the cat thing helps a little bit. <laughs> uh, that and, it's just the fact she's weighed down by the beginning a little bit. But again, I can't say it's a bad thing because it's who she is. I can't just say, oh no, change who you are and that'll make it better. No, because that'd be completely lying to the game. You know get what I mean. But until next time, guys. I'll see ya.